Hey guys, good afternoon, welcome back to the channel United Red Devils 20 on YouTube Hope everyone so far is having a fantastic Friday afternoon Hope you're all looking forward to the end of this week I hope you're all looking forward to another brand new weekend In July 2023 this year Welcome back to the channel, United Red Devils 20 on YouTube Hit the like button, hit the share button, hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel That is United Red Devils 20 on YouTube Please, please subscribe to the channel and the community if you are new. Let me share the video. Hit the sweet button. Hit the reefy button. Also. Put the notification bell on. We'll try to see dedicated content right throughout the rest of 2023 on United Red Devils 20 on YouTube for more Fortnite, Hogwarts, so you can see Kingdom Hearts 4, a lot of brands that plan the rest of 2023 on United Red Devils 20 on youtube and uh, welcome back to our bike ride series we have not been out on our bike for absolutely months we haven't been out on our bike ride series for absolutely months and it's nice to always switch off and have a break from your game and it's always nice to get out get air into your lungs focus on your health your fitness your life and obviously to have a break as well and to obviously come out on a bike ride especially in this good weather and yeah this is episode number two we, we haven't done any episodes for nearly nearly five or six months because obviously we've had a lot going on regarding united i've had a lot going on with my my arms and my legs with the condition that i've got in fibromyalgia i've been busy doing a lot of gaming lately the weather's been very hot up and down. We've had really, really hot weather. And then we've had rain. We've had cool and weather as well. And I thought, you know what? Let's get out today and let's try and get back focusing on my legs, my health, my fitness. Because I have put a lot of weight on. I think, it, you know, it's very visible that I have put a lot, a lot of weight on. And I need to start losing that again. And obviously... This is the perfect time, the perfect opportunity to get on a bike ride, especially knowing how great the weather here is in the UK today. Obviously it's about 26, 27 degrees and I'm probably going to be feeling this after because my legs have been so used not to been going out on my bike that my legs are probably going to hurt after this, but I think getting out today is the perfect opportunity to be able to take a break from gaming obviously it gives the console a rest it gives you a rest and it's nice just to get out in this weather because you don't always want to be stuck inside it's nice to get out whenever you get the opportunity to and in this weather you can't really complain but obviously in this type of weather i would seriously recommend putting sunscreen on sun cream on so you don't get sunburned and obviously as well Make sure you're hydrated, make sure you've got plenty of fluid on you, plenty of drinks on you to keep your body hydrated. Obviously, I'm not gonna be doing I'm not gonna be doing full distance today because of what the weather is like. And yeah, let's see how far we can push ourselves today. I think this is only episode number two. We've only done one episode in the last five to six months so it's going to be interesting to see how we get on and yeah i'm hoping you know i'm start getting my weight back down again get my fitness being worked on and hopefully you know i'm really been struggling with my arms at the moment because obviously i've got a condition in my legs called fibromyalgia and obviously I've now got it in my face and I've also now got it in my arms now as well. So I'm unable to write a lot now. I've noticed in the last few weeks that I've been able to do a lot of writing. And yeah, it, it, it's kind of soul destroying because like fibromyalgia is a really bad pain disorder, which your body says you're in pain and then your brain saying it ain't so there's a communication 
breakdown between your legs, no, you're between your brain and your body, and they're not communicating properly. So that's what I've got. I only got that diagnosis a few months ago, so no, a few years ago. So you know, I've had to wait nearly 15 years to get a diagnosis. So, and that was way back in January 2022. So yeah, like. And because, you know, United has been so hectic with sign-ins, players going in, players going out. And, and obviously I've been playing a lot of Fortnite, a lot of Rocket League, a lot of FIFA, a lot of F1. It's nice to be able just to switch off, give you a rest, give the console rest. And it gives you a breather. It's really, really nice just to get out and just take a break because it can become tiring. It can become, you know... You're doing the same stuff every day, but, you know, I think that's the aspect of, you know, being a YouTuber, you've got to be consistent with it, you've got to keep doing what you're doing, and you've got to be commitment, you've got to be committed, and I think getting out today is a bit of a relief, a bit of an eye-opener, because, you know, you, do, you can get bored quite easily if you're doing the same stuff every day. It's nice just to get out, really. And in this type of weather, when it's sunny and there's a bit of a cool mid-air breeze, you know, it's nice to be able to adjust to... It's just nice to get out, really. It's just, you know, it's, it's just a relaxation. And I'm hoping this is going to help me get my fitness program back underway get my health back where I want it to be and hopefully I'm going to start feeling a bit better in myself with my arms and my legs because your muscles can get tightened up if you don't get exercise and We had a bloody aeroplane interrupting my chat then. And obviously, because I've been able I haven't used my bike for nearly five, six months, all my tires were really, really flat, so all them have been air and pressures. Obviously got a new bell on my bike now because my other one packed up. And yeah, just I've washed my bike as well. I mean, it's all really nice and clean now, not a mark on it. But like in this weather, don't try and overdo it. Don't try and push yourself beyond what you can do. Because in this heat, it can exhaust you. And I'd say just be cautious, but calm that you know, if you're going out in this heat, be careful how much you're doing because I don't want, you wouldn't want to be out in this all day and you want to try and get in the cool, in the shade as much as possible as well. And yeah, so and so far it's kind of been an okay week. I mean, I've been really, really suffering with my arms due to my condition that I've got in my fibromyalgia. So yeah, it's been a bit annoying, a bit frustrating. <laughs> But unfortunately, it's something I've got to live with and I've got to get on with it, really. And you also get to have a bit of self-reflection. Like, you get to think about your life choices, your lifestyle, and I want to get my fitness back up. I want to get my health back up. I want to get my legs fully fit again. I want to start getting my muscles moving. And I want to be able to, you know, lose the weight I've put on. And I want, I want, I want to live as long as possible, really. So it's got to really put in the effort, the passion, and desire to get your fitness back up to where it should be. And so far, I'm enjoying it. It's nice just to get out. It's nice to relax. It's just nice in general just to take a break from everything. 
And obviously I'm not going to push it to the absolute limit because this is the first time I've been on my bike in five, six months. So do a bit at a time. Don't, don't overdo what you feel like you want to do. Do what you're comfortable with. I hope everyone's having a good Friday afternoon, by the way. Hope you're all having a good day so far. Hope you're all looking forward to the weekend as well. I mean, it's like a brand new weekend in July 2023. Oh, it's, just, it's just, it's nice just to take a break. And we will be back with more live content this afternoon. We're going to be playing the new Fortnite creative map called The Only Way Is Up. We're going to be doing that live stream this afternoon. Obviously, we're going to be doing that live with my mate Liam Crockett, who's a massive little legend. Massive Manchester United fan. Massive Rocket League Fortnite player. Very consistent, very, very good. Oh, we give a massive shout out to Angelo. Wojak RL on YouTube, boom, check out both their channels. And yeah. Also both very, very good Rocket League and Fortnite players. Right. Especially for going uphill, you are going to find it difficult because your muscles are not used to doing the amount of stretching and working is what they've been used to. And I can tell my muscles are very tight in my legs as I'm feeling this already. So, you know, we always stop for a drink break as well, which is very, very important getting in the shade as well and keep yourself out of the sun god that was tough yeah I normally have about two or three drink breaks when I'm out on my bike so you know it's very very important to basically have a bloody breather and take as much time as possible when you're having this drink break and obviously when I'm having a drink obviously I would recommend that type of size drink bottle obviously that's black currant so obviously I can't have orange juice because it makes me sick and I'm allergic to it so I would recommend about that size of a drink bottle because there's more fluid in that you can fill up and obviously the top flips up like that and it opens up so yeah and obviously before I go out on a bike ride, I also fill this bottle up with ice, put water in, put the black currant juice in, then put it back in the fridge to get it as cool as possible. But the ice will make it as cool as anyway because ice obviously melts, it turns into very, very cold water. And yeah. I hope you're all looking forward to the British Grand Prix this weekend as well. Obviously, I think the British Grand Prix crowd are going to be right behind Lewis Hamilton this weekend and Lando Norris and George Russell. I don't, I don't believe that, you know, McLaren or Mercedes are going to be anywhere near the qualifying terms that, you know, Mercedes and McLaren are both looking for. I don't think either cars are going to get anywhere near the podium places but I think Lando Norris is going to have a very very good race obviously he's starting to show the form in that McLaren with all the upgrades they've put on his car I think Mercedes I think Mercedes are done I can't ever see them winning a constructors championship again I think Lewis Hamilton's been done for the last two years I think George Russell's been coming as the make way to try and get Mercedes results and I also think you know at the moment the way practice is looking in Q1 in practice one already with Max Verstappen and Perez claiming a Red Bull 1-2 in practice one 
I think you know where the Grand Prix, the pole position, and I think you know the top two is probably going to be Sergio Perez and Max Verstappen this weekend. And I honestly do think that if Verstappen was to win the Grand Prix this weekend, which I think Verstappen's probably going to win the Grand Prix anyway, I can honestly see this being a foregone conclusion that, you know, give it four or five more races, Verstappen's going to be world champion again. And I wouldn't be surprised if he wraps it up very quickly. I think, you know, the gap at the moment, he's only got a 100-point gap over Perez. He's got over a 100-point gap over Alonso. And... I personally do think that, you know, the gap, if it increases even more, Verstappen's gap will be too big for anyone to catch. He'll win his third World Championship in a row. And just to think, if you look at it now, he's got more Formula 1 wins in his career than what Ayrton, Ayrton Senna, the late, great Ayrton Senna, did in his F1 career. Obviously, Ayrton Senna was tragically killed in a crash at Imola. So, it's sad that, you know, we lost one of the great, great legendary F1 drivers. Ayrton Senna was one of the very, very best F1 drivers of all time ever. But for, for, for Stappen to basically equal his win record when he won Canada, and then for Stappen to then win the next Grand Prix, which was Austria, it was very, very damn obvious that he was going to pass Ayrton Senna. And I think eventually either for Stappen will retire at the end of the season, or I do believe he'll go on and beat Michael Schumacher's wind record as well as Lewis Hamilton's. <laughs> and I do love the F1. I think F1 is a sport. There's a lot of people that say, oh, F1's not a sport. It's not really a sport. It's just driving a car around a track. At the end of the day, you see end-to-end, wheel-to-wheel racing. Obviously... The race, races so far has been a Red Bull win every single bloody race, but I'm not surprised, you know, Red Bull winning. You look at the car, you look at the package, you look at the aerodynamics that Red Bull car's got, you look how quick it is in a straight line. It's very, very gone, gone, foregone conclusion that Red Bull will win the Constructors and it'll be one of their two drivers that win the World Championship. I mean, Sergio Perez is my favourite F1 driver of all time ever. I do believe, in my opinion, that Perez is better than Lewis Hamilton. I do believe Sergio Perez is better than Max Verstappen. Uh, I do believe, in my opinion, that you know Sergio Perez is a better driver than Leclerc, Sainz and Fernando Alonso put together. I think Perez needs to win a World Championship. I'm really, really hoping he can match Verstappen in the next few races. But I think if Verstappen's leading out of Turn 1 at the British Grand Prix on Sunday afternoon, which is a 3 o'clock race start on Sky Sports F1 and on the main event channel, I think... I just, I personally think Verstappen will go on and win the race. And I think if Perez is 17, 18 seconds behind Verstappen at the start of the race in, in, on the 25th or 35th lap, then I think Verstappen will win quite clearly. And it's going to be gutting because Red Bull have won every bloody race, which is very, very frustrating. And I've got this bloody fly trying to bother me. I mean, Solskjaer's employing seagulls. He's now employing... Kaliki, Kaliki, look. I'm employing flies to annoy that United Red Devils 20. He got me the sacky. And hopefully, now we've had our first drink break, hopefully we'll be live back this afternoon once we get the Andre Onana. Here we go from Romano. Hopefully Manchester United get that wrapped up today. I'm really, really hoping that um, Onana will get the here we go today. I'm really, really hoping that's what's going to happen. I'm really, really hoping that... United get the Onana deal this, done this afternoon and we will go instantly live as soon as we get the here we go from Fabrizio Romano and David Ornstein on Twitter. Obviously, I am, I am on Twitter. It's at United Red Devil 20. I'm also on TikTok as well. So please go and check out both those socials and give me a follow on both of them. Both of them will then lead you directly to my YouTube channel, which obviously is United Red Devil 20. It could be anything else. So yeah, then go and give me a subscribe on YouTube. I'd really appreciate it. You can do that for me. You're absolute legends. And also give a massive shout out to also Cody Guna, aka Ethan, one of my Fortnite crew members, one of my Fortnite and my Rocket League crew members as well.
Also, I give a massive shout out to London is Blue on YouTube. Obviously, one of my other YouTube subscribers on the channel. Go and check out his YouTube channel, London is Blue. And yeah, we are going to resume our bike ride from our first drink break. And obviously, going downhill, you don't really need to use your brakes. Only use the brakes into the corners that you know you need to use them at. I mean, my bike, I'm not even pedaling. This, I'm literally letting the bike flow. And I'm not on about Andre, I'm not on about Andre, Torre Andre flow from Chelsea. I'm not on about that type of flow. And obviously, can I go and give a shout out to my other mate's YouTube channel, which is, um, um, it's, I think it is. I think it's uh, Tex on YouTube, oh, aka Liam Crockett's YouTube channel. Go and check that out for me as well. And yeah, we are going to be back live this afternoon. I think we're going to be doing that Fortnite creative, the only way is up, creative mode. That was going to be live with me and Ert, Sir Tex on um, YouTube this afternoon. That'll be live stream, live afternoon Fortnite stream on Fortnite creative. And obviously, thank you. And obviously, once we get the here we go for Andre Onana, we'll go live with that as well. So, reaction to that, hopefully, United get that wrapped up this afternoon. I'm hoping we're gonna have a good deal before the end of the weekend. I mean, I've, we've only got, I mean, I think you know, the for transfer window so far for every Man United fan has been major, major frustration after frustration. And everyone has been quite frankly annoyed about Man United's ambition in this transfer window. And I completely agree. I really, really do agree that it's been a major bloody frustration for everybody. And it's been very, very disappointing that so far the standards have been nowhere near to back this manager. Eric Nag in season two, you know, like I said, we've signed one player in three weeks. That ain't fucking good enough. That is embarrassing. United should have been active as soon as that FA Cup final defeat to Man City. And I think United are now paying the price. They are paying the price badly with their efforts. They're lazy. They can't do more than one deal at a time. They're bored or a joke. John Mercer, Richard Arnold are muppets for the Glazers. And, you know, everything with the surroundings of Man United in their name, it's just been... It's just been a joke, in it? Like, let's not let's not beat around the bush about it. That oh. at the moment, it's just been it's been a complete circus, in it. If we're going to be honest, that the club hasn't been sold, transfer funds are being limited due to the financial fair play bollocks PR statement from the Glazers and every bloody journalist on Twitter saying United have got to be competent with financial fair play. Like I've been told, someone close to United told me there is no financial fair play bollocks at United. It's all talk. There are no financial fair play issues going on. It's just United incompetence fucking up again. And I would be too surprised if we're sat here in a year's time. Eric Ten Hag's gone. Because I think, I think Ten Hag is undyingly frustrated. I think you can see the frustration in training that the only player he's brought in is Mason Mount. I mean, that alone has been a joke of a signing. That doesn't get me excited. And unfortunately, we're sat here at the moment trying to thrash out a deal with Inter Milan for Onana and United a penny pinching over five million, which is a joke. And if they were to fuck up the Onana deal, it would then surprise me if we if we fuck up the Rasmus Hoyland deal as well. United have just got to give Atalanta what they want. You can't keep bartering over a fee. In the end, you just need to give in and give the selling club the demands they want because you can't keep messing them around with bids. United need to stop putting bids in they know that are going to get rejected. I've now got a really bad stitch on the right side of my chest. Brilliant. I'm 
obviously I'm not rushing this back because God my legs are feeling this I think I'm not going to blast this today we need to do one bit at a time because yeah this has been you know this has actually been quite tough because this is the first time in nearly six months that I've got out on my bike. It's because last season United were playing so much football and we were playing Thursday, Sunday, Thursday, Sunday, Europa League, Premier League, Europa League, Premier League. And I didn't get a break. Like I was doing so much content because we were playing so much and Once that was done, it was like Oh my god, that's been tough. Yeah, don't overblast it on your first attempt in six months. Don't owe and overdo it because oh my god. Bloody hell, you can tell I'm struggling due to the fact that I'm breathing heavily so much because my body's been so used to being stuck inside. And that's no excuse, I should have got out a lot sooner rather than later. But when we had that really bad heat wave, I was nowhere I was going out in that. And when we had that really bad downpour the other day, it was nowhere I was going out in that. The weather's got to be just perfectly in the middle. A bit hot, but a bit cool in the middle. Right, let's go. Back underway. It's five lights out and away we go. It's not bloody F1. I really should put some sun cream on, shouldn't I? The sun's gone in for a bit, but I can't guarantee that the sun's going to stay in for long. <sighs> oh, God, this has been tough. This has really, really been tough. We've been up for about half an hour. Cool. <laughs> it's alright. Thank you. Right, yeah, Cheers, girl, thank you. Girl. Yeah, we're not going to blast this today. It's been a bit of a bloody wake up call. I knew I was going to struggle because oh, 
and you're trying to ride through the wind as well when you've got the, when you've got the wind blowing like this but it's hard to I'm just going to take it nice and slow on the way back now because this bloody hell and it's nice that you know in this type of weather it's really just nice just to take it all in, let it get, let get air into your lungs and everything. <sighs> that bloody Lord of the Flies on my t-shirt. been going for about 32 minutes which is more so I can do it oh. Especially uphill as well. This is really, really tough. Got to really. If you want to put your authority down, got to work your muscles. Now every round, see the cycle track that I used to do my bike rides on. You've always got overgrown bushes. We've got overgrown trees that you know. I'm tempted to do that, that hit around the back. Am I going to do that today? Yeah, fuck it, why not? Let's do this extra bit for all of you amazing people. Oh, God, this, it's hard, hard, hard. I mean, it'd be nice to have the football back on as well when the new season commences in August. I hope everyone's looking forward to the new season and everything. Nice to have United back on, and I think we're gonna have a really, really good Premier League season. I think this Premier League season is gonna be the best one yet, especially with the arrival of Luton Town in the Premier League. I mean, who would have thought I would have said that last season that Luton Town were gonna be in the Premier League? But what annoyed me, I do my own prediction for the championship table, and Luton were one of the teams I said would get promoted. I should have done this extra bit, no I've been out on my bike for six months. Don't even know what the bloody time is. I'll check what the time is. Great, so I've got my, my the device my phone is sat on while I'm talking to all you people. It's covering the bloody time. See how I'm not rushing this back, taking my time. I might stop having a drink break again. Oh God, that's tough.
Academy have had to have three drink breaks. It's not normal for me, but I'd rather have fluid hot in me than not and get myself dehydrated. So yeah, like I'm really looking forward to Premier League season. I, I'm right behind Luton Town as well. I think a lot of people are writing Luton off that you know they're not going to get promoted. They're going to really, really struggle to adapt to Premier League life because obviously it's eight games fewer. But I think I think Luton are going to be absolutely fine. I think they're going to finish about mid table. I think I predict them to finish seventeenth. So. I think there's worse teams in the Premier League than Luton. I think the disrespect being shown by rival fans saying they're going to get absolutely annihilated every week. They're going to struggle. And my words to them would be, at least give them a chance. Don't write them off too early. And if Luton do stay up, congratulations to them, because... I think the job the Luton Town manager's done and the ex Watford boss, I think you have to applaud that. Yeah, like I'm right behind Luton this season. Obviously, I'm a United fan, but I want to see Luton do well. Like, everybody said I was not saying what Bournemouth, not in the Forest, and Fulham are all going to stay up, and they did. I mean, I'm glad not in the Forest are up in the Premier League. I think they're going to be fine again next season. I think Bournemouth are going to be fine. I think Luton are going to be fine. Fulham will be fine. You never know, Luton might shock everyone with their start. I mean, they're going to have to start picking up three points pretty quick. I think Luton are going to spend money as well. And I think Luton have already signed a few good players, so they've got the money there and they're going to spend it, aren't they? So, can't promote to the Premier League because the richest game in English football because you get over 300 million given to you. And then if they get relegated, which they won't, they're going to get parachute payments, which I think, you know, it's very, very debatable that relegated clubs should be getting par parachute payments when they get relegated. But I think if Luton were to go down, they'd come straight back up again because they would have players that... I can give them good Premier League experience in the Championship. And obviously there has been an accident up here. So... probably going to have to stop the video there because there's been an accident up near my road obviously I wouldn't be able to get through so what I'm going to do what I'm going to do I'm going to try and get around this way if I can Probably going to end it there for today. Hope you all enjoyed the episode. Episode 2, Bike Rides with United Red Devils 20 on YouTube. So please keep subscribing, people, if you're new. Enjoy the rest of your Friday afternoon, whatever you're all doing. 
stay safe, be nice and be kind to each other. We'll be back live with more Fortnite and obviously FIFA 23 career mode with you later on this evening. Enjoy the rest of your day, stay safe, be nice and be very, very kind to each other. You're all legends, you're all legendary in your own way. Remember to dream, achieve and believe and you will achieve greatness in life. Thanks for watching.